Allah will tell you when your soul leaves the body, it leaves from the toes and it goes, works your way up. And that's why when you die, your eyes follow your soul. We have to close it. Think of yourself looking up and you seeing your body down. Who's around you? Who will help you? When you're on the highest altitude, I want you to look down to this earth because that's why it's called dunya. Dunya is the lowest level linguistically. I want you to think, look at your house. How big is it, Akhi and Ukhti? It's a speck, not even a speck of a dust. You don't even see it. So we work so hard for having something that we will not take with us. Every night you make up your bed. Every night you control the temperature in your room so you can have a good night's sleep. Have you actually prepared your grave? Have you controlled the temperature in your grave? Have you built your grave? You will say, oh Allah, give me one more chance. Maybe I will do right. Maybe I will follow the Quran and Sunnah. Maybe I'll stay away from what you told me to stay away. Maybe I'll do what you asked me to do. So you understand that the lightest level of the hellfire is 70 times hotter than the hottest fire on earth. Don't take it lightly, my brothers and sisters. Then you will see the similarities when you came to this life. You did not see who gave you birth. When you leave this life, you will not see who will bury you. When you came to this life, somebody made a noise. They were happy you came. When you leave this life, somebody will make a noise. They'll be saddened you're leaving. And when you came to this life, a nurse gave you a shower. When you leave this life, we will give you a shower. And when you came to this life, after the shower, you were given a blanket. After you leave this life, after your ghusl, we will be shrouding you. And when you came to this life, you were given a birth certificate. When you leave this life, you will be given a death certificate. In between the certificates, you collect certificates. When you graduate, you get a certificate. You buy a car, you get a certificate. You get married, you get a certificate. When you die, you get a certificate. But the most important certificate of all, you will never see in this lifetime. You will see in the hereafter. You will either take it with your right hand side, you will say, Here, read my book. Or you will say, I wish I never was died and resurrected. I never knew what that counting and the recommendability is all about. The difference between us, brothers and sisters, life and death, is that fraction of a second thinking of the heart. So from now on, every time you pray a janazah on somebody, you think that today we washed a brother, tomorrow they're washing me. Today we pray janazah on a brother, tomorrow they're praying my janazah. Today we shrouded someone, tomorrow they're shrouding me. Today we're carrying a brother on the shoulder, tomorrow we're carried on the shoulder. Tomorrow we follow a janazah, tomorrow they're following my janazah. Today we're burying somebody, tomorrow I am being buried. When he was told, Indeed, the hearts get rusty. What is the cure? He says, Al Quran, keep coming back to the Quran, our manual, and remember in death. As a matter of fact, remember the destroyer of pleasure, meaning death in abundance. Why? Because that's the fraction of a second where it's the last breath you take, last blink of an eye. Last pulse of a heart. So every time you put your head on the pillow, I want you to think, will I be able to raise my head back up again? Or will this be the last time? Am I ready to meet Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula? Or am I afraid to die? And then you can ask yourself, why am I afraid to die? Because there are secret sins that no one knows except Allah. So the scholars will tell you, فَلَا تَجْعَلَ اللَّهَ أَهْوَنَ النَّاظِرِينَ إِلَيْكُمْ Don't let Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula be the least of your worries. We commit sins and we are hiding so much from the people. But when we're all alone, subhanallah, we commit the sins. So let your secret life be better than your public life. These are secrets we have to hear hold. And that's the case. Umar al-Khattab radiallahu an says, Hasibu anfusakum qabla an tuhasabu. Hold yourself accountable before you held accountable. And weigh your actions before they're weighed onto you. The scholars will tell you, if you had a choice, how could you choose hell over heaven? It's a choice with our actions and deeds. Think. And that choice, Akhi, is up to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, we've given you the two paths. It's your choice. But do not be surprised when you take the ramp that's going to Tobago. 
or take the plane that's going to Pago or take a plane going somewhere else and when you get there you find out how could I end up here but you've taken that choice you knew very well it was signed this is going that way and that is going that way you decided to go the path you've chosen choose wisely my brothers and sisters